Hey everybody. Well, I don't know how well the lighting's gonna be. I think I'm standing in the shadow. Honey and Dee's are right down here behind me. Can you hear those frogs? Deafening. But I guess that means spring is here. I'll probably have to take this sweatshirt off before too long as I get to work in here. But I'm trying to finish clearing up this uh, this pasture here so I can move on to the uh, one across the street, the creek there. Uh, unfortunately, we got a bit of a slowdown. Finally, has some beautiful clear weather. My son went and developed shingles on his face. Not just on his face, but over his eye. Um, they were afraid that it had involved his eye. Uh, it's been crazy. We spent more time on the road Saturday running around different medical people. Ended up up in Lexington. Just like an hour and a half away from where we live. Okay? During a storm, no less. Um, yeah, we ended up up there. The one doctor thought that they were going to admit him in the hospital, and it was, uh, oh man, what a mess. Uh, they ended up not admitting him. And by the way, we lost an hour of sleep that night too. We got home like midnight. Um, but anyway, so now they have him going to the ophthalmologist every single day until he's, he's better. I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm hoping it doesn't take more than a few days. But we were there today. we got to go back tomorrow morning. So I'm missing half a day. Half a day of work. Every day. Um, so, I mean, my husband can handle driving local, but going all the way into the major city, uh, no, he's not there. So, anyways, I'm going to see what I can get done. At least we have longer hours and longer daylight hours in the afternoon. So, which means the horses are getting fed later in the day. So, well, I'm going to get set up these little burn piles over top of where the briars are to help clear that out. And when I actually have a full day where I can stay here and monitor the fires, then that's when I'll burn them. But in the meantime, I'm just going to get them set up. Hey, everybody. Let's try something. Quiet! Nope, don't work. They don't listen. Those frogs are noisy. I know, Gracie. Come, 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 <laughs> come. People can't see you. Come, come, come here, Gracie. Come see mommy. Come on. Come see mommy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> why, 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 why? Come on. Come. come here, you. Come here, you. Come here. Come see mommy. Come here, Gracie. Gracie, Gracie, Gracie. try and introduce you to my dog. She is hyper. Her name is Gracie and you will see her flitting quickly through the shot. Her name is Gracie. Why is her name Gracie? Because she was a stray found in the parking lot of our church. Okay? Not only was she in the parking lot, she even managed to get inside the building on a Sunday morning. And there she goes. All because she saw Angel off in the distance. So yes, she and Angel play incessantly outside when it's nice. Here's the thing with Gracie. She's part Chihuahua and who knows what else. But she is, she's definitely not a purebred chihuahua. 
but she's got the face, but she's got really long legs, and she's just, I think she's better proportioned than a Chihuahua, myself. So, she's got something else. Some people have speculated boxer, because she's got kind of like a boxerish kind of nose, but who knows? She's not set telling us anything about her parentage. So, um, anyway, she was, um, she was a little on the thin side. Now, judging from her hyperness, I'd say she might have been on the street no more than a week, okay? Because, um, like I said, very hyper, very high metabolism. Um, she's put on the weight, but she's still on the slight side, okay? She's just, that's just her build. But she's got good bone coverage. Um, her ribs are, are covered well. Her backbone's covered well. So it hasn't taken that long. We've had her, oh, maybe a month now. Uh, she's like the cats in that she really likes the heat. So when it's nice weather like this, I let her out and I just let her run. So uh, she doesn't listen very well. To, she'll come, but she doesn't stay very well. So why did I take her in? Well, we really can't handle a big dog right now. Um, the upkeep, the feeding. And all I needed was something that would alert me if they hear something. And she has done that. So that's why she's here. Uh, other than that, she's just a plaything for Angel. <laughs> um, so, anyway, so that's Gracie. That's my dog. If I, at some point in the future I can get a close up of her, I'll do it. But you know what? I've tried and I've tried. That's why it's taken me so long to make a video about her because she's just hyper. <laughs> so she's off and running and she's loving life. Um, so now I am back out here in what I call the lower pasture. Uh, still trying to clean up. There's a lot of brush to clean up. Uh, I don't know how much more time I'm going to spend over here before I head over across the creek because I've got to get them over there. It's higher, it's drier, and I've got to get working on a fence line over there before the spring growth takes it over. So I may have to come back to this, but I'm going to do what I can. I'm just very quickly running out of time between rainy weather and having to make unplanned uh, trips and being away from home and that coincidentally happen when it's nice weather so, so I'm gonna see how much more of this I can do uh, since my my morning was shot but tomorrow I think it's gonna be a decent day so maybe maybe I can get across there and get a, at least a fence line uh, ready for fence and I also got to run another fence line um, below where the horses are right now so they can get to the creek at that far end because I want to close off the smaller pasture on the other side of the cabin just so we can rest okay without any traffic on it so it can grow some more grass so this is what you call rotational grazing and I've also, um, the back pasture back by the pond, I call that the back pasture, um, I have lined and seeded it. So that's another area where the horses will not be allowed to go to. As a matter of fact, I already have that blocked off. And I think I did a video on that already. I just haven't uploaded it yet. I'm really behind on my video. So hopefully it won't be too long before I get this video up because with everything else going on, I'm sorry people, I'm just, I'm doing the best I can between, you know, trying to get the videos up, trying to take care of stuff here at home. And here comes Miss Nosy, honey. I'm standing here talking to myself and she's like, what are you doing, mom? You're nuts, you've lost it. Honey, what you doing, girl? You gonna come say hi? Oh, and angels in the brush. 
I have goofy animals. What can I say? Honey! I just got finished clearing brush from that area. So she's checking it out. I got more behind her that I need to clear up. Plus I have stuff down here I need to clear up. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, blackberries right in here, but their thorns are terrible. And I cannot work in the thorns with long sleeves on. I mean, without long sleeves on. I had to have long sleeves on to work in the blackberries. Honey, what you doing? You gonna come say hi? And I can keep right on working because somebody sent me a second battery for my chainsaw. So I will not be slowed down because my battery died. Here she comes. Honey, you goofy horse. There she is. You find anything good? Huh? Find anything good? She likes the pine leaves. You goofy girl. What you doing? Hmm? What you doing, goofball? Huh? What you doing? I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. Mwah! So, yeah, I have to, Mom. I ain't got nothing. Angel's down here. She doesn't know what to think. How do I get any work done at all with all these distractions? You know she did that on purpose. You know she did. You goofball. Go get her, Gracie. Go on, go get Angel. Gracie! Come here. Come here. Oh well, I give up. I gotta get to work, guys. <laughs>